A fire has started in the building. The temperature of the heat detector increases to its activation point, which is lower than the sprinklers. When the heat detector activates, it sends a signal to the VFR 400 release control panel, creating an alarm condition. The normally closed solenoid valve is opened. The normally open solenoid valve is powered closed. The flow control valve remains open. Priming water is being vented through the energized, normally closed solenoid valve. Venting of the priming chamber through the normally closed solenoid valve allows the flow control valve to remain open. Water is discharging from the sprinklers, distributing water over the fire. In time, the fire's growth is controlled. As the fire decays, the temperature in the area is reduced. The heat detector resets. The soak timer is now initiated. The soak timer is programmable. Water will continue to discharge from the sprinkler for the specified amount of time. The soak timer can be programmed between 30 seconds to 30 minutes. Upon the expiration of the soak timer, the power is removed from the normally closed solenoid valve, allowing it to close. With the normally closed solenoid valve returned to its normal state, the water pressure will begin to re-establish in the priming chamber. Once priming pressure is established in the prime chamber in conjunction with the spring assist within the flow control valve, the clapper will close against the seat, stopping the water flow through the system. When the valve closes, water will no longer discharge from the sprinkler. Should the fire reignite, the temperature will increase, activating a heat detector, sending a signal to the releasing panel, starting the process again. In the rare condition that there is no power, the system would still activate, however you would need to manually shut down the control valve.